Thanks to advanced DNA technology, law enforcement says they've solved a 12 year old case. Authorities now say those unidentified human remains discovered 12 years ago belong to a Napa woman who wasn't even in the state missing persons database. ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn details how this discovery was made. Advanced DNA technology opened the door and shed light on a case that has stumped investigators for more than a decade. The mystery surrounding a human skull found in Redding 12 years ago has finally been solved. The family of this woman now has some answers. This person's name was finally realized after many, many years, and that is Velma Lee. Reading police say work crews first found the human remains near the Anderson Cottonwood Irrigation Canal, buried in some blackberry bushes. The Shasta County Coroner's Office said it was a female skull, but they had no idea who it was. Jane Doe was an unsolved puzzle for 12 years until Othram got involved a few months ago. We operate a forensic laboratory that assist in the identification of these individuals. ABC 7 News talked to Colby Lezion with Othram about how scientists use advanced forensic DNA testing to solve the case. We built that DNA profile from the skeletal remains. It was uploaded into genealogy databases where individuals have consented to allow law enforcement to use their information to solve crimes. Scientists found a possible identity, and after contacting possible relatives and even further DNA testing, they positively determined the remains belonged to Velma Louise Silva Lee of Napa, who was born in 1936. The identification of Lee makes the 70th case in California where officials have publicly identified an individual using technology developed by Othram. We are so thankful for playing a role in identifying Velma Lee so that her family and law enforcement all have answers now. Lazion says DNA evidence is a powerful clue in solving many mysteries and believes pursuing advanced DNA analysis can make a world of difference for many unsolved cases. There are tens of thousands of unidentified people whose remains are sitting in morgues or sitting on shelves waiting to be identified, stories to be closed, families to be mended, and etc. And Othram is so grateful to have a part in any of these cases. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.